everyone welcome to another video in this video I will tell you how we can connect a Dataverse environment and extract or retrieve the record information using HTTP action in Power Automate plus whenever we are retrieving data we also want to retrieve the related entity information in that same call web API call for example let's say I want to read loan records okay this is my loan entity and I have loan records and in every loan record we have a customer lookup right and this is a customer lookup and this is a polymorphic lookup it's not a single entity lookup it is it may point to contact it may point to account now I want to read loan information plus the customers information also the customers email address and name if it is account I want account name and uh, email address if it is contact I want contact full name and email address and other information of that uh, related entity so how we can read that in power automate right so this is my power automate I have uh, taken a instant trigger you can take any trigger of your choice and I have taken HTTP action right here you can choose uh, HTTP and choose that action and once you choose this action uh, you can choose uh, select the action and choose the method I have created that uh, and given my web API URL get method this is my web API URL where can you get this web API URL you can get this in power apps right if you go to make dot powers power apps and go to developer resources you will get that web API endpoint so this is the old data uh, this is the rest endpoint web API endpoint available in all environments now after this web api endpoint link you have to give the entity set or table set if you go to any table you can find out the uh, set by using tool option and you can copy the name of the entity set and paste here then you have to provide the headers information o data version max version content type application JSON, and prefer edge o data include annotation this is the last uh, prefer header option is used to get the formatted values of uh, complex data types for example choice means normally if you retrieve choice it returns the value but if you want the text of the choice you need this prefer option so that it will return the formatted value in the response and most important is important is the expand query right expand uh, query where we have to pass what related entity you want to read right what related entity you want to read you have to pass here like this expand the relationship name and the dollar select equal to so this how how can you know that this should be uh, the customer underscore account and another is the customer underscore contact actually the customer lookup in the loan entity may connect to contact or may connect to account that's why I have written two uh, op two option in ex ex expand uh, query if account is associated read using select read name and email address comma if it is contact read full name and email address using comma I have given this expand option now how to understand whether this uh, what to write here is, is this a cost is this a uh, relationship name or something else you can understand after you run it let me test this run it and if you run the flow and click on done you will see in the HTTP response body part you will see just scroll down you can see here there is an option called as navigation property right this associated navigation property will give you the navigation property that you can use in web api to fetch related lookup entity information here this is an account that's why i have passed this information in my expand query and uh, supplied which columns i want to read right like that in the contact uh, if you go to another record you will see that contact in the associated property this is for business unit let me go to customer information 
yes this one so this record is having contact association right that's why uh, the associ associated navigation property is this one that's why i have passed uh, this and the account wherever the account lookup is associated it will return account data if it is associated a contact it will re uh, return contact data and how it is returning you can see here so for the first record it is returning customer account name email address and account id in my second record so for the first record contact uh, navigation property is null because the first record is associated with a uh, account right this is associated with an account and this is associated with uh, a contact the customer lookup that's why here we will see the in the first record customer contact navigation property null but customer contact account navigation property returns data in the second record the customer uh, the customer account navigation is null associated navigation property is null but customer contact is returning data right so this is how you can uh, re read uh, related entity information like a parent entity information in using expand query in your web api url right you understand how it is done extracting information is very easy uh, simple information let's say i want to extract some information like if i will uh, go to add a select query select you can use select right select let's say i want to read a uh, name and i want to read uh, amount and i want to read customer value right so this is the lookup uh, field so let me run it and in addition to the select you can get expand you can also use expand so that it will select this rec this uh, field information um, uh, from this loan plus it will expand or it will return the related customer information also in that same query you can test this if you have supplied wrong um, field name then it will throw error it will throw error because it is telling that it is not found now how to check that what is the name of this url uh, name of this field just uh, remove this for now and run it without giving the selection filter to identify what is the name of the lookup field that returns now go to body part and here if you scroll down you will see the name of your column you see this one so you copy this this is the uh, lookup field so i want to select the first attribute is name then amount then this this is the lookup field now if you directly return directly uh, read this uh, lookup field it will just return the guid but it will not return the name of the uh, name of the lookup field but as because we have used this data annotation it will return the uh, name of the lookup also with id but you cannot uh, read more information about the lookup field value like if it is connected to contact you want to read more information about that contact without using expand so you have to use expand if you want to um, deeply uh, connect to the lookup value entity and read more data now let us test this how it works so in the select command i have used three values name amount and customer value now it is telling http amount okay amount field is having some issue i have done something wrong here yes underscore should not be there in the amount so you have to correctly specify their name field field names otherwise it will throw error right now if you go to check the uh, body the first record is started and it is reading the name 
and the amount you see amount formatted value is also given using the symbol dollar symbol or currency symbol why because we have used this prepare annotation otherwise it will not return this thing will you will not get you will just get the value the amount value that's it so in addition to this you will also get the customer value and customer uh, type customer lookup type it is connecting to account entity it is this is the associated navigation property and this is the name of the lookup field and value also gyd of the lookup and the current uh, primary key and the uh, navigation or uh, associated and uh, lookup property information right so this is how you can uh, read related information using expand this is very important we use most of the times in our projects thank you everyone i hope you learn something how to connect http request from your power automate connecting to any dataverse and remember you have to authenticate to connect this azure directory oauth authentication which request tenant id audience you know, and uh, client id client credential secret otherwise you cannot connect this web api endpoint thank you guys i hope you learn something Please subscribe this channel if you have not done. I will come with new videos next time. Thanks.